Well, good day YouTubers, it's Ian here again. We're having a little play about on the garage. Flashlight there, it doesn't work. I don't know why it doesn't work, sorted that. Got a Dyson Hoover motor there, which I've taken out from an old Dyson. That's a little project, I'm going to try and make a earth, workshop air filtration vac system type of thing. We'll see that as go. The problem is, and you'll have seen this before, one of my earlier videos. I've got a wood burner there. Incom per incompletion. Per incomplete? Partly complete. Either way, Dickie Bird tells me someone I know is having a party New Year's Eve and they're looking for a wood burner to have outside when they all go outside to celebrate the new year coming in so I wasn't intending to do any work in the garage for the next few days but it's like I'm now under pressure to do so so clear the bench dig that out get it welded up put a chimney on it let's see how we go give just a little background this burner is made out of an air compressor receiver that's uh, 50 litres so I'm guessing this one will probably be in about 200 litres hard to, hard to say really and I'll see here where I've cut out welded up the uh, inlets and outlets that side was just a blanking plug and again on this side cut the bottom off cut the plug out put a little bit of plating welded that up cut two archways in That will become the base of the fire pit, which will fit inside the. Got some mesh to go off the bottom of there. One moment. I'm a little limited in what I can make from the base of the table to the ceiling. Is 40 inches exactly so these I tend to make 39 inches just nice I'm now going to put those in place and get them welded on this as I said is going to the base of the fire plate between the For the moment, and this cut to shape to stop the logs falling out. Now, I do like to put these purely as a quirk of uh, how I do things, is having it as diagonals running to the open end. 
aesthetically, I find that pleasing. The wife's telling me off for throwing things down, so I will put that down gently. <coughs> That's how I like it. I used to play about with getting a ball bearing, throw it in and see where it ended up. But after you've done a few of these, you can do it by eye anyway. Just slightly to the back, which means it needs to go up a bit. Bang in the middle, throw the hammer down again. I'll do. I need to get that welded up. Now. Would normally weld with my fan working, but I think it's going to be too noisy. So, on with the mask, on with the gloves, on with the lid. On the head. I don't think that's going to go anywhere. I am going to take some of these fumes out though. With that like that, the diamond the diamonds facing the way I want them, I'll tack them in. Go take the chimney. <coughs> Time for me to do the chimney. Got a few off cuts of tubes. What I prefer to do to stick them on, set back, I think a little bit small. Hmm, might be a bit too big, might be just right. Thing is, this is a bigger cylinder than I've ever used before. I'm normally this size. There's a chimney, already got ready. Put that on top of the, like a pee on top of a drum. It's not right. Needs to be bigger. And that is the same size as that. 
Turn all that out. That's bigger. I'm gonna go with that. So, get that on there. Eyeball it centrally. Trusty marker pen, drink first. Now, if Bob Rup, Rob Nerden is watching this, I know he is. It might come to surprise you. I'm not actually a cider man. I'm more of a bitter man. But you don't get bitter at seven and a half and eight point four percent. You get lurkers at that, but not bitters. I prefer the old speckled end rather than the old uppy end. And in fact my missus, just one minute. Treated to me to a Christmas present. A keg of all speckled in. Can't go wrong with That's true love for you. <clears throat> I'm going to need a time when I'm not working in the shop to do that. Eyeball that. Get that marked out. Well guys, I've took a chance here and I've gone and dug out my old iPhone 3. The difference between the iPhone 3 and the iPhone I've been using is this only has a camera facing one way. An iPhone five what I'm using here the little button and you can change the view from a front camera forward facing camera rear facing camera so actually looking at this sort of only tiny little hole and I'm willing to risk that getting a spark I do it but we'll see so again on with that on with the safety gloves on with the safety squints and on with the face shield right. if you're thinking that's overkill I once took a chance and did a little bit of grinding welding my car just take that little nib off without any eye protection and something did go in my eye and it took a week and several hospital visits to get it out so you only get one pair of eyes, so look after them. See, this goes. Easy peasy. And again, get some air extraction on. I think that's what you get when you can thinking more about camera angles than what you're doing. I'm learning at this. So we're back. Got my chops out. 
Put my chimney in position. Told, you don't have to crank these handles up tight, all you do is force the back plate over. I've seen people do this on YouTube, so I'm just following them. <clears throat> the only little dangerous thing with this, it's a little bit too big for me saw. I'm going to have to just lift the blade a little bit, the guard up a little bit slightly to start. Now, again, it's only the safety squint. Him. <clears throat> Bit of lubricant. Fingers in your ear holes. Well, as I said, we saw doesn't isn't just quite big enough to cut this tube. So we've got there to there to cut off with the grinder, which bit I can't do it from the other side. It's uh, it's pretty much scored all the way through. Might actually try work hardening it and bending it back. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Have to be the grinder. So the bit of a chalk mark on, joining up those two cuts. Leather apron on, so I'm not gonna get covered in spats. doing there is putting myself a, a grinding bevel on. Welding bevel, should I say. <laughs> Going to be just right. Back in a minute.
Well, we've been happy when I've got that positioned. I'm going to take it in three places, four places, and then get it fully welded on. As I've said in other videos, I'm self-taught, I've had no formal training in MIG welding at all whatsoever. I did get a little bit of stick welding and uh, a friend of mine taught me how to gas weld, which I much, much prefer. So MIG welding. Self-taught, start to finish and I hold. I've got a lot to learn. But I think even I can live with that. I don't do the joints very well. Well, I can live with that. It ain't going nowhere, is it? I ain't going nowhere at all. Uh, is that right? Maybe not. A bit of editing coming on here. Done. Bit of paint. Yeah, she's done. Well, my yay big with my chimney was too big. Come out about 20 inches, 21 inch, 20 and a half inches, rather than the 18 inches I wanted. Still, all in all, looks in proportion because it is quite a large cylinder. So, without further ado, let's see how she smokes. That's enough to keep anybody warm on a cold New Year's Eve night. I think it's going to be a bit uh, seized off if they don't buy it. I could have been doing something else. Coat of heat resistant paint. Jobs are good. This is it. The part of the job I hate. The switching off. Tidying up. tomorrow well I'll give it a bit of a lick over with a grinder and as I've now finished using power tools I'm going to go on to something as dangerous as a paintbrush now it ain't Sailor Jerry there's only a couple of people going to get that but I think it's going to be darn good I don't like using things like that when I'm using power tools but I'll finish with the power tools so, well, that make my painting look a bit uh, wibbly wobbly. We shall see.
Bobby, Rob Noonan. <laughs> oh. Well, it's you, got, you that got me into this. So, I had a couple of rums. Thought, what else am I doing? I might as well put the paint on. Well, I might not have enough paint to finish the job. Because I spilt the paint, I scraped up as much as I could, put it down, I knocked it over again. Like I say, I might be better off sticking to Sailor Jerry. That 57.5% stuff is probably just a little bit too strong. I did put some cork in with it. Sorry Rob, you're being painted out. But you'll know that somewhere in this green and pleasant land, there's a little bit of Rob Nerdin somewhere. In fact, I might start painting in an RB on every single thing I do. Then painting over him. Good idea. I'm cracking on. Well, as you can see, it's no dark. Well, I've been in, I've had my tea and a few more drinks. And what the hell, might as well carry on. So, back into the shed. Tied it up, ready for my next project. It is cold here. So I have got some heat resistant paint and that has been uh, warming up in some hot water. So time for a good shake and I've got off the rum and I've gone on to a Christmas pudding so we'll see how that works out maybe I won't knock anything over well I never know when to stop pitch black outside and I decided to finish the top coat of paint and then I cut some wood I like to give my customers some wood with it. There's no point, you know, buying something and you can't use it straight away. Uh, there she is. She's done. I hope they... I hope they'll buy it. I hope they like it. I hope they want it. Otherwise, I've spent a couple of hours today and for uh, Sweet FA. However, it's done. And uh, if they don't buy it, it's there. Somebody else wants it. It's ready. Uh well, that's me, Ian, and uh, got a few other projects on the go. And the, the better I get at this editing, the easier it's going to be on your eyes and ears, hopefully. So, to all of you, thanks for the support that I've had up to now. Rob, ain't convinced I did the right thing. Happy New Year again.